Well, this, my friends, is an adjustable pressure relief valve made by Control Devices Incorporated. Found it on, on Granger.com. Now, what's cool about this is it comes with a set of four springs, one of which is already in the inside the relief valve. Let me open it up here. And there's the whole contraption. This is the valve. It's got a <clears throat> got a silicon seal to it. And that goes down inside. Then there's all these springs. And the weakest one, the one that I'm interested in, is this one. It does 20 to 50 PSI. Now the springs go all the way up to 200, but I don't care about that. So what I'm hoping will happen here that I'll be able to determine this is an experiment to see if it would work in and it figures the freaking little valve worked just fine four or five times now I can't get it to do a thing There it went down in there. Anyway, I'm going to put this on my uh, pressure chamber and adjust it. And then later, I'm going to put it on a Smax booster container and induce the flat and induce a flashback. And see what it does. Remains to be seen whether I'll have a grenade or a working blow-off valve. But that's the intent. This is a quick series to adjust the uh, variable pressure relief valve that I bought. And also I want to observe how it actually works. So this is an initial test after the 20 to 50 pound spring has been inserted and uh, a quarter turn after contact. Of course it would help if hmm. Aha. So, uh, at a quarter of a turn after contact, it released at about 25 pounds and it expelled gas down to about 12 pounds. So I'm going to back it out just a little bit and we'll try it again. So that time it uh, released at 20 pounds and it expelled gas until about 11 pounds. So there's contact plus a quarter turn and we'll try that again.
So that time, contact plus a quarter turn gave me a 26 pound release point and 14 pound uh, shutoff point. Now, backing it off maybe a millimeter. I didn't see a difference that time. I'm guessing 13 pounds it turned off. Alright, I'm going to try it a little slower this time. Repeat the test. So it's still just over 25 pounds. Another millimeter. So it seems to be relatively insensitive to fine, fine tuning. Which leads me to believe that once you hit contact and you give it a quarter turn, you're just about going to get 25 pounds. That time is the third, about a millimeter, two millimeters turn, and it was at 22 pounds. with a cut off at looks like 12 and a half pounds. Uh, the conclusion is it doesn't take very much pressure to get 20 to 25 pounds a quarter of a turn after you know the spring has contacted the the uh, valve itself is really all you need and you'll get about 25 pounds of release. or excuse me, at release.